Tis the season for the holiday hustle and bustle. During this time, some may choose to unwind with a festive cocktail. I headed over to Sullivan Steakhouse to learn how to make some spirits of the season. General Manager Chris Peters took me through three drinks topping his holiday menu. First up, the milk and cookies. A drink similar to a white Russian with a taste of your childhood. For this drink, start from the top. Line your glass with some of your favorite cookie crumble, then add the alcohol. So we're going to start out with one of my favorites, the Stoli Vanilla. We're going to do about an ounce of that. And then where would you be at Christmas without Kahlua, a holiday favorite here. About an ounce of that as well. And then just to kind of keep it along that line of the White Russian, we're going to add a little, uh, little half and half here. To finish off, top with a splash of Baileys, shake and pour over ice. For the next one, I took a turn to see just how easy they are to make. Chris walked me through the Kahlua Caramel Cocoa drink. First we're going to do a little Kahlua. Okay, we're going to pour about an ounce of Kahlua in there. You know, really it's about an inch. Yeah, you know, and if it's a little more, it's just more fun. Next, pour your basic hot cocoa mix in, leaving about an inch of space at the brim for a topping of marshmallows. Just uh, add those all over the top. They get a big pile on there. The more the merrier. The more the merrier, right? It's, it's just like the holiday season. Then drizzle with caramel or chocolate sauce. Your choice. It doesn't have to be pretty. If it gets messy, it's just more fun, right? right. There we oh, go. That looks yeah. great. And the taste, sure to please anyone with a sweet tooth. That's good. It's nice and fun. Cheers. Cheers. And when your holiday celebrations include New Year's fun, there's a drink for that as well. The sorbet sparkler starts with your favorite sorbet on the bottom of a champagne flute glass. Top that with about two ounces of lemoncello that will mix with the sorbet. It gives it a nice fruity flavor, kind of kicks it up a notch, and helps it kind of get a nice frothy foaminess with the, uh, with the sorbet and the sparkling wine. Chris used Brut Champagne, but you can use any champagne or Prosecco. And it's a perfect little cocktail for New Year's Eve. Take champagne and brings it to a whole nother level. Now you have three go-to recipes, sure to add some spirit to your holiday gatherings. And if you'd rather treat yourself, all of these drinks can be found on the seasonal menu at Sullivan's. 